C5-C4. Let us concentrate on the weak king in the center, despite the exchange of queens, the king is still unsafe, and the hook that the pawn on f6 represents. Looking at these, we can see that there is a much more aggressive continuation. e4 e5 The computer recommends that black should play. Bishop d6 takes on e5. Knight f3 takes on e5. f6 captures e5. When after. Bishop e3 captures c5. It has no real defense against rhe1 xe5 or f2 f4 xe5. Maybe this is black's best option, but in that case white's strategy is definitely right. f6 captures e5. Knight c3 e4. With the idea of bx c5 should black defend the bishop, which would lead to a quick deterioration of the black position. Bishop d6 e7. Knight f3 takes on e5. Black is still struggling desperately with his development. The next moves are likely to be rh e1 and bf4 after which it will be very difficult for black to avoid losing something. Black has the two bishops, but has paid a high price for them. His knight is still stuck on g8 and his c-pawn is weak. It was these factors that inspired white to go for a creative idea based on attacking the c5-pawn as well as attacking the weakened squares b6 and e6 created by the advance of the pawns, once again those moves had good functions, all moves will weaken the control over at least one square. Knight c3 a4 c5 c4 Knight a4 c5 was also reasonable. Knight a4 b6. White is continuing with his idea. Rook a8 d8. Knight f3 d4. This was the point. Everything is hanging and black has problems defending the c4 pawn. Bishop e6 g4. Black wins an important tempo, making it possible to take the knight on b6 and save the pawn on c4. f2 f3. c5 
c7 takes on b6. f3 captures g4. Bishop d6 c5. This pin is essential to slow white down. Although black is also fighting for equality after c2 c3. Although black is also fighting for equality after c2 c3. b6 b5. King c1 c2. Knight g8 e7. g4 g5. Bishop e6 f7. This loses a pawn without a fight. There was only one way to battle on. Knight d4 f5. Once again exploiting the overloading of the c7 pawn. This time black is thoroughly forked. Knight g8 h6. Does not work here. Simplest is probably. Knight f5 takes on g7. King e8 e7. Knight b6 d5. Bishop f7 captures d5. Rook d1 captures d5. Knight h6 g4. Knight g7 f5. King e7 f7. Rook h1 d1. And the extra pawn should be enough. Knight g8 e7. Knight f5 captures d6. c7 captures d6. Bishop e3 f4. Would have won a pawn, but white did not want to exchange knights after. Knight e7 c8. When there might later be technical difficulties because of the opposite colored bishops. Knight f5 captures g7. King e8 f8. Bishop e3 h6. King f8 g8. Knight b6 a4. White later won.
Knight e6 captures c5. Rook h5 captures c5.